Welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we started our new farm. We obviously leveled up fishing. We've planted 18 potato seeds. We're going to be planting some parsnips today. Doing some rain fishing, probably some eels, a full map foraging. And that's probably going to be about it. So let's get straight on into it. Level two fishing. There you go. Another almost 400 gold there. Not too bad. All right, we don't need to water. Water and get away. Magma geodes. That'll be yes. Uh, we can craft the seeds, actually. We could sell them. Uh, I've put some background music on here. Uh, so, should hopefully be quiet enough that it's only just picking up. Uh, if there's any issues with it though, let me know and I can uh, play something different, set a different mood, or can add that music and post it in. Oh, here we go. Not a bad little hole there. No seasonals. So if I run just over to the right here, hopefully I will have seen that far in when I ran down to the southeast corner initially and gotten full coverage. So now I'm going to run through into the bus stop, quickly check that, then I'll head up around through the northern area of the map, check up there down into town. Then I'll come back and I'll plant up some more things. And then we will be heading down to the river for some fishing and then the ocean later. We're going to try to catch some of the river fish. They're actually relatively difficult early on. Um, the catfish and the shad. However, the eels after 4 p.m. are quite achievable. Twenty-one spring onions. Pretty good hole there. Cross the river, check behind the museum, and Clint's hand this rib into the museum. Actually, let's check how much these geodes will cost. Oh, it's 25 flat. Um, it's a computer. Alright then. That's why that was such a good pickup there. That bonus 250 gold. So we have more gold on day three after not having any harvests come in than what we did on day one after getting a forage run and selling the starting seeds. Oh, yes, closed. 
this whole time I've been talking about going to the shops. I guarantee people are screaming at me saying, yes, it's closed, you big old idiot. Of course he is. Um, in that case, I'm not even going to bother with going over to the river. I've got full energy and an inventory begging for some fish. So let's go. Let's let's go further. Sebastian, you're really setting a mood here. Just come down to the pier, middle of a rainy day, staring out into the ocean. over to our favorite rock with the bit of deep water. Mm -hmm. oh, see you later Sebastian. You just came down here and stared out into the ocean for five hours. That's a pretty normal thing to do while it's raining. Yep, see you later.
Oh, I got a gold herring. Uh, silver herring. Probably better than a uh, silver spring onion. Alright, let's get out of here. Enough energy there to chop a few trees down, get some more wood. And we're probably going to want a this chest and a, a couple other chests for more organization very, very shortly. Tomorrow is going to be dedicated to farming. I uh, should also be able to run into town and unlock the community center after 8 a.m. All you have to do is enter town from the bus station, I believe. And you'll get the community center unlock, and then I'll be able to hand in my four spring forage bolts for 30 seeds. So I'll take those with me. And then I'll do a buy for seeds. We'll get more crops going. And then on the Thursday, no, the Friday, that's going to be the big mining day. Uh, we don't need the fishing rod right now. We want the axe and the pickaxe and maybe the scythe. So tomorrow, we are going to be hoeing the ground. We will probably fish a little bit. We're going to need the watering can. We will want one daffodil, one dandelion, one leek, and one... Where is he? Wild horseradish. We have enough wood for two chests. So... get those made. Let's do that now. So this one here will be for the, we'll make it that. This will be for all of the fish that we're keeping. You know what? We should just be selling all of these. We will keep the baits, we'll keep the herring, keep an eel in case. It's a good flounder. I will keep a couple of these. Uh, the halibut. The rest can go. Alright, and this next chest is going to be our... Spring farming. So green seems good, like a good color for that. Let's get everything farming out of here. I know that I just did my stacks uh, and tools. I'm not sure. Gold can stay in there for now. Alright, that seems fine. Alright, that's a good setup for tomorrow. I'll grab the spring onions because they're going to be a source of energy if I find that I need it. Alright, let's go. Level 3 fishing crab pots. We will not be making them until we can make them for cheaper. I think that's when you next level up fishing.
Right. <laughs> what else have we got? Yes, Pierre, you want our money. And Robin wants to help us build. Right, so first things first. Let's water these potatoes. May as well get this watered here. We'll be planting on it momentarily. And I dare say, seeing as how we have a bit of money here, we'll be planting another crop. All right, I have just checked the wiki and <laughs> you can't unlock the community center until the fifth day. So that's why that's happened there. Yeah, look, we might be catching some anchovies, so Sebastian, I will pick that up. Now, I want to pick crops that are going to be ready before the 13th. So, we have... Let's just look at how many growing days we have. So, Friday will be the first growing day. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine growing days. So, anything that takes nine or less is good. So, no cauliflower potatoes we could do. Um, we still need to do parsnips request. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll get. Hmm. See, now beans are good. However, we have to commit to watering them for the entire season. And I think that I would rather do that when we have sprinklers. Even though... Okay, so here's my thinking. If we plant beans, yes, they're good. You get a really good return on them, especially this early in the season. It's day four. We could buy... 25, maybe a little bit less. But we also want to be picking up maximum strawberries and those are also a maturing plant that you can keep harvesting so we don't want to commit to more than the strawberries otherwise all we'll be doing is watering the plants so i think with that said i'm going to get one patch of parsnip and then maybe kale i wonder what the return on kale is like Grows in six days, harvest it using a scythe, and how much are they worth? Doesn't say on the wiki. Oh wait, hold on, no base price, 110 gold. That's a pretty good return if I do say so. All right, let's do a patch of kale. You know what? Should we do another one? Or should we do more potatoes? The potato has a base return of 80 with a 25% chance of doubling. So let's just say that yeah, they're actually worth 100 however you could get lucky so if you get the base amount of luck let's just say that you do only get 25 percent of your entire harvest then the average price of the potato is going to be oh actually sorry when harvested each potato plant gives one potato with a random chance to produce extras partially based on daily luck so if we look at the tv and we have good luck on that day then we could potentially get even more harvests we could try to min max that way because 
then the potato is going to be worth, worth more than the kale. Or we could just go for the reliable kale harvest. Tell you what, we already have two crops of potatoes. And you know what they say. May as well double down. <laughs> um, anyway. Will he sell me fertilizer? He's not going to sell me fur. That's fine. Let's get out of here. Why don't you tell me? I'm sure someone was screaming at me, saying that there was some worms back there. I'm going to clear that patch right there to there. Oops, I've put them in this chest here. Uh, the reason why I'm going to clear that patch is because it's nearer the, the pool here. Seasonals can go back to now. Pick them up. Clear my inventory again. We're done with the pickaxe and the others. Now we need the watering can and the hoe. And our biceps. Look at that. Day four. And we are rocking quite a substantial amount right there. Anyway. Let's drop the watering can back. And what have we got available to us today? We can go and try to fish up some smallmouth bass. I think that's what we'll do for the day. I'll try to find enough to the point where I can sell some and keep some. Now, where's going to be the best place? We can get them from the pond. Let's try the pond.
right, so we've got a sunny day tomorrow. We've also got day five. So, plan of attack for tomorrow is going to be A. We can unlock the community center at 8 a.m. by heading into town. B. We're going to run through town after unlocking the community center. And we are going to go straight to the mines because the mines will have opened up. We'll have a letter in the mail saying that there was a landslide or whatever else from Jojo Corporation. Then we should, I think, also have the quest from Clint where he'll want us to build a furnace. So we're going to go in there and we're going to smash through as much of the mines as we can we want to get minimum 20 copper uh, we'll check the board to see if there's any jobs and that's pretty much going to be the entire day we've got a lot of leak there so we shouldn't be short on energy whatsoever and uh yeah that's gonna be it so we'll leave that episode here thank you for joining me and I'll see you all in the next episode.